Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I want to show you a secret that hides in the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. What I've got on the screen here are two blends from one color to another. And these blends, while they're the same colors across the blend, they look very different because the spacing on these blends is very different. If we have a look in the layers palette, these two blends look exactly the same. But there is a secret hidden there and we're going to see exactly what that is. So to show you, I'm going to start with a new blend. So let's just get rid of these two and let's start with a brand new blend. I'm going to make a circle using the ellipse tool. I'm going to fill it with my color. I'm going to drag a duplicate of this away by selecting it with the selection tool and alt or option dragging a duplicate away. I'm just lining these two up and I'm going to fill the second one up with a different color. To make our blend, we're going to select both of these circles and choose object and then blend and then make. I want this to be individual shapes that don't want it to be a seamless sort of look. So let's go to the blend tool. I'm going to double click here. We're going to choose specified steps and I'm going to bring this down to about 12 steps. Just want to be able to see these circles really clearly. So this is going to be our control, if you like. This is sort of an original blend. I'm going to Alt or Option drag a duplicate of this away, and I'm going to show you how I got that other look to the blend. Now, if you're not familiar with Illustrator and blends, you may not realize that blends have spines. So this is the blend that we're looking at here. Here it is in the layers palette. If I open up this blend, you'll see that we've got the two circles here, the purple one and this sort of cyan one. But we've also got a path here. And this path is a line, and it's a line along which the blend is made. And by default, it's a straight line. You can replace it with a curved line. But here's something else that you can do with it. I'm going to select the Direct Selection tool, and I'm going to click on this anchor point here. You can see it's selected. It's filled. This one here is not selected. It's just a white box. And I'm going to click here on Convert Selected Anchor Points to Smooth. And that bends this line. But we can straighten it up by grabbing hold of this handle, holding the shift key and just straightening it up. And I can do the same to this end of the line. I'm going to select this anchor point and I'm going to convert it to a curve as well. I'm going to grab hold of this handle and I'm going to swing it the right way. And now we get a chance to make the blend that I showed you earlier. And it has to do with the spacing on these handles. I'm holding the shift key because I want these handles to be perfectly horizontal and run along this line. But you can see that by making this line larger or smaller, I can squeeze up the shapes closer to this particular shape over here. And if I come to this node here or this anchor point and adjust this handle, again holding the shift key so it's running in a perfectly horizontal horizontal direction, I can adjust where these shapes appear on the line. So there is a secret to the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. And the secret is that by adjusting the length of the handles on an anchor point, you can squeeze up or separate the shapes along your blend line. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial and you learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.